Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today this is a voice recording to make a preset of a screw modifier within geometry nodes. As always, I'm going to use the presets which you can download for free from the link in the description. So let's start. So here we're in Blender and this is actually the preset file that you will download from the link in the description. Or if you are using the add-on, it will be downloaded from GitHub automatically. Uh, this is actually a demonstration file. It contains a lot of node trees uh, talking about the usage of this kind of presets. I don't have any text explanation inside every node tree, but it's sometimes if you play with the node tree, you may get some sort of idea of how presets are being used, what they can do, and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, it's not a really a new thing, although I've never really shown them to you uh, explicitly. But anyway, today's topic is to make a screw modifier within geometry nodes. Uh, I didn't think this is possible for a very long time. And I suddenly come up with an idea because I need that. And uh, just right before I started this recording, I actually checked if people has uh, the same idea as mine or not. And I found that there were actually quite many tutorials of screw modifier within geometry nodes. Uh, it was a surprise because I never know that. But uh, after checking some of them, I realized the common method that they are using is that uh, by default you see that the screw modifier looks like this. So it looks like a kind of creating a cylinder kind of a structure. So what the people does is that they do a curve to mesh, which is also fine that you have, you have any curve lines. For example, you have this curve line and you have a curve circle. Then you create a kind of a cylinder structures. And the rest of the issue is just about uh, what's the profile curve. By changing that, you can get a different kind of structures and so on. Okay. Uh, this is definitely a way, but I don't think that this is the most important part of having a screw modifier. In my opinion, screw modifier is unique because of its uh, angle function. So you can define an angle and you can define how many steps to reach this angle. You can make it smoother, you can make that very ugly. Okay, so you can control this angle. I think this angle part is really what makes it very interesting. Okay, of course, there are many different ways to achieve similar kind of functions. For example, you can change the resolution of a circles to make it less, whatever. And you can try to use uh, things like radio for to delete. You can use this kind of radio for to delete certain parts of the selection so that it becomes a only half angle geometry. So you delete this part, then you only have from here to there. Okay. It's, it's possible to mimic, but you will never really have um, a result as good as this one, in my opinion. It has a precise controls and it's uh, very, very smooth. So I don't like this curve to mesh method, although it's kind of a good mimic at some point, but I don't like it. Okay. So today we're going to use a different method, which I think it's so simple. You really don't need a lot of nodes to that. So here, let's uh, start. Uh, it's very simple that uh, we start with any kind of uh, uh, geometry. So let's make a new uh, collection to keep that 
to modify. Uh, let's type that correctly. Modifier. And I need this uh, profile. Okay. So once we completed this profile, I remove this screen modifier. So I can duplicate a cube to just as a professional holder of this node tree. And I import this profile into that. And what I'm going to do is very simple. It's just the extrude. I think this method will work. If you are extrude, then it's working. I do not need offsets. Actually, it does not really matter. But it's fine that I need just the set position. And I only select this top. And let's say that uh, I do not offset anything, but I only have a selection to set the position. I need to do a vector rotate. Uh, rotate vector is also fine, but I want to use the vector rotate. Eh? Oh, it's rotate vector. Jesus Christ. I, I confused myself about these two nodes. Uh, actually, these two nodes are the, essentially the same. Uh, in the future, this vector rotate will be completely uh, replaced by this rotate vector. Currently, you do not see the centers, but uh, it's fine. Uh, because we are not going to use the center option in this case. And I take this position. And I just rotate that. Then you can find that uh, I have this one step being done. And uh, in order to uh, repeat this process, we take that into a repeat zone. So this method is only applicable after 4.0. Okay. And then we just uh, keep doing repeat process. Then you find it's working. Okay. So at the rest, we just need to define these steps and uh, angles in general. So this uh, video is basically finished. The rest is uh, basically to finalize the design and the settings when you make up a group node. So for example, this iteration, mm, I probably uh, will keep the name. I'm not sure if I'm going to change the name. And the default may be 16, minimum may be 2. And the maximum is 64. And I need a value to divide. So I need a total angle. And I plug that back to the value. So this is the angle. And I'm going to make that in the angle form. And I think this angle form, when you type in here, this is actually radius. So let's type in tall which means 2 pi. Minimum is 0 and the maximum is tall. Mm, I need that as a single value. There is no point to make that into a field. So uh, let's name that as a G school. Do I need to add anything? I guess it's fine. So now if I delete that and uh, take a school, the reason I we add this node tree because I want to see the default value. And mm -hmm, it's a 310 milliseconds. Why is that? It shouldn't be so slow. And by decreasing its uh, iterations, it's much, much faster. Oh, because there's probably an exponential growth when you extrude the geometry. I see. The geometry is growing. So we take this top, and every time I only extrude the top. So now if I go back, it's much faster. And you can get the 300. It's still very fast. Okay, this is fine. Um. Okay, this angle is not working. Uh, oh, because I didn't plug anything yet. Let's uh, combine XYZ.
and I hope this is working. So 306 degree. Yes, it's working. So you can control the iterations. And you can control the angles very easily. And this is basically done. Uh, you can also construct a UV of it by capturing some parameters. But I'm not going too much details of it now. I think uh, this is it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye bye.